What, diarrhea? I pray for diarrhea every day. Hi everybody, it's me Jill and welcome to Jill Informed. This is the recap of The Real Housewives of New York City. Season 10, episode 17, Ship Happens. <laughs> it's the boat trip we've all been waiting for. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. This week I am recapping the episodes for New York City and Orange County while I'm watching them. I like to do that every once in a while. It feels a little bit more authentic in that even though I do edit the episode and if I'm showing you guys how it's affecting me at the moment I'm seeing it on screen, I'm hoping that it kind of reminds you of what it felt like when you were watching it. And for those of you crazy people who watch my recaps without watching the real episode, I'm hoping that it kind of adds to the experience for you guys as well and um, then you can sort of feel like you're watching it too. Okay, so we've just seen all the previously on from last week and there was a lot, let me tell ya. Lots of conversations. The biggest issue, I guess, is that Dorinda and Luann are not speaking to each other right now. It's the next morning. Looks like they're going to have breakfast. Sonia comes to the table. Bethany is also coming to the table. And Bethany's like, oh, oh my God. I got to tell you something. This trip, it is, it, it is the opposite of relaxing. I, 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 I feel like I, I got run over. I, I'm only going to say this one more time. Bethany go home you're miserable and you are making everybody else miserable you're able to leave new york city in february for a little while to have some warmth and sunshine just try to appreciate it a little bit all right they're all coming one by one to the breakfast table ramona's like oh my god it just occurred to me and everyone's like what and she goes the highs and lows of last night <laughs> okay Dorinda's not there yet, and Luann is talking about, you know, well, can we just get to the island? They're talking about this island that they're gonna go to, and Carol says, what's the boat gonna be like? And somebody said, it's an hour and a half boat ride to get there. <laughs> I'm so excited. And, and someone's like, oh my God, that's crazy. That's gonna be a long trip. And all right, they're talking about that a little bit. And Luann asks, does she even know what happened last night about Dorinda? And Carol said, yeah, she just, I think she just didn't want to be lectured to. And, but do you know what she said to me? It was about the countess thing again. And she's like, I know, oh my God, it's my hashtag now. Hashtag countess and friends. <laughs> Luann has said this before, but again, she's like, I mean, what about Queen Latifah? What about Lady Gaga? Is she really a lady? I don't think so. And Carol's like, those are like stage names. Anyway, now Dorinda arrives. Oh boy, okay, Dorinda is not remorseful at all. She is coming out swinging, man. Luann said, well, I'll tell you what, you girls, you can call me Lou. You don't have to worry about Countess. And then she says to Dorinda, you too, you can call me Lou. And Dorinda goes, really, thanks. After all I've done for you. They are going at each other right from the jump. Side note. Dorinda looks freaking fantastic. After all that drinking, her makeup looks good, her skin looks good. She's got a little like sundress on. She looks really good. They all do, of course, but I mean like, you know, Dorinda was kind of like hot garbage the night before, let's face it. Oh my God, that took about five seconds for it to morph into Bethany and Carol fighting. Bethany was trying to stop Dorinda from going off. She's like, Dorinda, Dorinda, stop it. Now, you don't wanna do this. And Dorinda's like, stay out of it, Bethany. You don't have any skin in this game. Bethany's like, I'm just saying, you don't wanna do this. You don't wanna say something you're gonna regret. And she went back at Bethany and said, shut up, this isn't, I told you, stay out of it. It doesn't concern you. Well, then guess who had to get involved? Carol, Bethany, stop. Bethany, she, it doesn't concern you. Stay out of it. And Bethany turns to Carol and says, I would, I'm just trying to help her. Don't, enough, Bethany, stop. Carol is annoying me. And I have been so team Carol for so long, but 
I didn't like how she acted the night before. I thought she just seemed cold and unfeeling when Bethany was going through something. And the way she's talking to Bethany now, I don't know what's going on with Carol, but I don't like it. I mean, good God, Ramona's not even getting involved. Ooh, a little foreshadowing from Sonia, who said, girls, everybody stop, come on, we're gonna get on a boat for an hour and a half. Wow, I mean, we're only one empanada into breakfast. Emp <laughs> Are they having empanadas for breakfast? Anyway, she goes, we're only one empanada into breakfast and already you guys are at each other. I tell you what, somebody's going overboard. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Before we go to the first commercial, Carol and Bethany are continuing their fight that it now has nothing to do with Lou and Dorinda. It's just their own issues. Carol said, you know what? I'm busy. I can't respond. You want me to respond to your texts immediately, 24 seven. And Bethany's like, what 24 seven? Oh, I don't have a daughter. I don't have a job. I, I just text you all day long. And Carol said, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you do text me, you want to reply right away. And I'm busy and I can't do that. You're busy and I'm busy. It's just, that's what's changed. And they're kind of like, oh. and Bethany's just sitting there. And then Carol said, I think we should cancel this boat trip. Yeah. I think you probably should have. Okay, so now Carol leaves the table and she's like, I, I just need to take a breath too. The, the others are saying, oh no, let's, you know, we should all still go on the boat. It'll be fun. And uh, so and anyway, Carol leaves the table and Bethany said, you know what? I love her. I just, you know, I, I, I know she's not feeling me anymore. And, uh, but she does say, oh, damn it. She always tugs at my heartstrings. She said, you know, I've just, I've never had this level of a friendship before. And so, you know, like to losing it and, and uh, like how much it hurts. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Ramona, who now is being kind to Bethany, said, you know, maybe it's just relationships, you know, intensify at different times and you guys are just going through something right now and it'll pass. Wow, that was Ramona? So now Carol has gone downstairs to where Dorinda is and Dorinda said, you know, I'm just gonna stay in town and go shopping. I'm not gonna go on this boat trip. And Carol's like, oh, you're not gonna go? Okay, so Luann is also down wherever they are. I can't really figure this house out. It's like all everything's on different levels. Where they have breakfast is upstairs, and then when they go down a level, maybe that's where the rooms are. Anyway, Lou had happened to be standing there. I think she was on her phone or something. Carol talks Dorinda and Luann into having a private conversation with each other. Uh, well, they are hugging and trying to make up for it but you know in the confession cam Luann's like I think when she was drunk her real true feelings for me came out and I'm never really gonna ever forget that that hug ended with Dorinda I think suggesting that they go to rehab together she just said let's go away for 21 days together and I don't think she was suggesting a long trip I mean that's not a bad idea they could both use a little cleanse there's a weird scene before the next commercial. Bethany, Tinsley, Sonia, and Ramona are still at the breakfast table, and Bethany is going on and on about her relationship with Carol. Now, she's not really saying anything bad about Carol. She is saying the same things she's always been saying, which is, I don't think she loves me anymore, and I still care about her, on and on. Well, Carol has come up the stairs now and is sitting at the table again. On the one side of the table, it's Bethany, Sonia, and now Carol has sat down on the other side of Sonia. Everybody at the table is kind of doing a, uh, like Carol's right there. Um, yeah, uh, Bethany, stop talking. And she just kept going on and on and on. Finally, Carol said, uh, Bethany, I'm right here. I don't think Bethany cared. I almost think she knew she was there, but she wanted to keep talking because she wanted Carol to hear what she was saying. 
That's what I think. Another coupon cabin commercial. Okay, Tinsley is earning her pay here because I don't think I've ever seen a coupon cabin commercial before they started dating. Tinsley doesn't even have any lines. Carol has a few and Dorinda has a ton. And Adam and Baby are in it as well now. Sorry, can you guys hear Olive snoring? I hope the mic isn't picking up Olive snoring. She's laying right here next to me on the couch sawn logs so when we come back from the commercial break bethany goes well i you know i'm i didn't say anything i wouldn't have said to her face which i kind of knew carol said you know listen bethany just because i'm not crying doesn't mean i'm not sad about what's happening with us too everybody is now done eating and they're going downstairs and getting ready to go on the boat trip now we are in a car i presume on the way to the boat and Bethany is talking about, I think she hasn't pooped. Am I getting this right? Apparently, Bethany is constipated. And somebody asked her, did you go to the doctor? Is it Crohn's disease? And she said, no, it isn't. I just have a long, torturous colon. Oh, God. <laughs> of course your colon is torturous, Bethany. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Well, I will say this, the boat looks nice. It, I don't know if it, you would call it a yacht, but it, it looks like a very nice, fancy, pretty boat. They all board and they're having champagne. All right, well, as soon as they sit down on the boat, Bethany says, you know, I'm sorry, I love you, I'm sorry. And Carol said, I'm sorry too. And they hugged and I think they're gonna just like try and have a nice trip. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's funny knowing the fate of the trip ahead of time. Because anything they do or say, like, you know, they're taking, they're smiling and taking selfies. And it's like, oh, just wait. <laughs> wow. Okay, it is gorgeous. They get to this private island. There's like a wait staff waiting in line with trays of food and drinks. And it, it looks really pretty. All right, so they're having drinks and they're laying in lounge chairs and they're running around in their bathing suits. They're going to go swimming. And Carol finds a crab on the deck. I guess it was dead, but they're petting it. Not something I would have done, but whatever. They decide that uh, they are going to um, scare Ramona with it. Side note, I want to look like Luann in a bathing suit. God, that woman's got legs for freaking days. Okay, so Luann gets in the hammock and she's calling, Ramona, come on, get in with me. And Ramona's like, oh, can you hold my ice? I forgot that Ramona, she's still icing her ankle. I forgot all about it because remember the when it got miraculously cured the second day? <laughs> okay, it was kind of funny um, because when she got in, they put it on her chest and she's like, ah! And she's screaming and kicking her legs and everything and screaming and everybody's laughing. And to the confession camp, she said, I'm just glad I didn't fall out of that hammock and sprain my ankle even worse. <laughs> so the girls are swimming. Ramona is asking, I would like some white wine and a stemmed glass, please. <laughs> I love how they're on this tiny little private island, yet she still has to have certain glassware. <laughs> oh my god all right well sonia is taking the role of tamra barney and flashing everybody and dancing around in her little bikini who also i'll take her body too thank you very much blue ann goes look she still has the price tag on her bathing suit and she does <laughs> Bethany and Luann are trying to yell to her that you've got a tag on your bathing suit, but she's dancing and prancing and pulling her bottoms off and yeah, she doesn't care. Sonia explains that she likes to leave the tags on things because if she doesn't like them after she's worn them, she can bring them to the consignment shop and if the tags are still on, she gets a better price for them.
Well, they're all whooping it up now in the water and having a good time, except for Dorinda, who's just kind of sitting on the sidelines there. And Bethany notices, and to her credit, Bethany actually gets out of the water to go talk to Dorinda. She's sad that she hurt Luann because she really does love her, but she had this idea that something different was gonna happen when she woke up in the morning and went to breakfast. Maybe that Luann would be a little bit remorseful so that she could then be remorseful and that they would hug and make up, but it didn't turn out that way, and so then Instead, she kind of doubled down on being defensive, and now she's feeling bad about that. So she's crying and upset, and Bethany's consoling her. Come, came around to the other side of the table, said, come here, give me a big hug, and she's telling her to cut, you know, just give yourself a break. Go talk to her. Go tell her, I love you, and I'm sorry, and I don't want you to feel bad. Okay, well... Dorinda does have a talk with Luann and they hug again. She, It felt really genuine this time though. That's the difference between the first time they kind of hugged it out and this time I think they, I don't know, am I being a sucker? I feel like they're going to be friends now. <laughs> okay, so now they're sitting down to have lunch. They're still on their little private island and Tinsley's saying something to Carol about, oh my God, I love like the scarf with the hat. I'm obsessed with that. Carol takes off her hat and like she's got a head scarf on. She goes, this is an original Lee Radzowell and um, puts her hat back on and Tinsley's like, oh, I, just, I think she saw a scarf that was YSL and she's like, oh, I'm like obsessing about it, but I don't have my phone with me. And Bethany's like, oh God, shoot me. I can't, I can't talk about shopping anymore. Why does Bethany have to be like that? That's the thing that irritates me. You're just kind of finally getting your groove back and getting along with Carol. And now you gotta pick on Tinsley? To the confession cam, Carol said, let's be clear, nobody cares about clothes more than Bethany Frankel. And nobody shops more than Bethany Frankel. So uh, sometimes Bethany is such a jerk. Time is flying. Oh God, <laughs> they're relaxing after lunch, but, but not Luann. Just because I'm on vacation with the girls doesn't mean my cabaret is on vacation. <laughs> oh God, she's gonna be running lines with poor Sonia. And Sonia's too drunk to run lines, I think. Oh, Tinsley's bathing suit. I am in love with it. She's not the only one that has changed bathing suits, by the way. I don't, this is like Gilligan's Island three hour tour, yet these women are packed for a lifetime. Luann is now in a black bikini. She was in a white one before. And Tinsley had on a white, sort of a eyelet, adorable little white one piece. Now she is in, oh my gosh, I can't even describe. It's a floral, it's got sheer, lace parts to it. It's got like a little bit of a ruffly strap. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you a picture of it. Isn't that adorable? Love it. Oh God. These are the whitest women in the world. Luann wants somebody to do like a beatbox sound, you know, like a boom, boom, boom. N nobody can do it. Now everybody is kind of like an audience and and Luann and Sonia are standing up on a coffee table while they're all sitting there on the couch watching Luann and Sonia and they're laughing and whooping it up. The house manager comes into the room and says, I think we need to go back because the sea is getting choppy. And I, everyone's talking over each other. Nobody's listening to her. Carol did say, okay, we'll get, it. we'll get everything together. But there's definitely no urgency in anybody. Okay, it's 3.15 p.m. Ramona's like, I wanna stay here all day and all night. They, they love it there. And she's like, I mean, come on. The water's no choppier than it was before. And we're not like in a little rowboat. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Okay, I don't know what Luann is looking for. She's rummaging around for something in the house still. The others are starting to get on the boat and now it is getting windy. And you hear a producer say to Luann, Luann, did you find it? And she goes, no. 
And he's like, all right, I'll find it later. You get on the boat if you want to get home. Oh, it was her cell phone she couldn't find. Okay, so they're all on a, on the boat now and the water is getting choppy. And Sonia said to Tinsley, why would you take us out on this boat if you've done this before? And Tinsley's like, this is normal. That is how it is. It's, it gets choppy like that, but it's normal. To the confession cam, Sonia goes, uh, that may be normal for you, but uh, I got a kid at home. Oh my God. Sonia is screaming at Tinsley. This isn't normal. This is ridiculous. I've never been on a boat like this. I just peed in my pants. Now, Sonia playing the role of Vicki Gunvalson. <laughs> Ramona's holding on to her, and I can't tell if Ramona is crying like for real or I'm not sure. Ramona seems to be telling Sonia to calm down. Meanwhile, Carol's trying to walk over. I, she, She's wobbling all over the place. They seem to be telling the boat driver or trying to tell the boat driver that they want him to slow down. It's now 4.05 and I'm thinking if they have to get back before a storm, I would not want him to slow down. I would just want to like get through this as quick as possible. But oh my God, I forgot. Is it an hour and a half? That's a long time to be bouncing up and down. Yeah, I'd be throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. It really isn't. It's a little bit scary, but now Carol says she's going to throw up. Carol is, it looks as if Carol is like on the floor of the boat, leaning over like a pot. Bethany's sitting next to her, rubbing her back, which was actually kind of nice. Meanwhile, you hear Sonia is still like screaming at Tinsley. I have a kid at home. Tinsley's like, it's gonna be fine. You don't understand, you don't have a kid. And Tinsley goes, it's not about that. It's just fine. And Ramona goes, hello, I can't swim. Oh, okay, you can hear Dorinda saying, can we have life jackets? Which, yes, they should all have life jackets on right now. I don't know where they are or what's going on with that, but you know, this whole time, I wasn't even thinking, somebody's filming this too. The crew is on there filming this too. Anyway, they should all have life jackets on. That's one thing. Bethany's like, okay, Carol's vomiting. I'm trying to comfort her. And this table and chairs comes flying across the deck. It's crazy. Dorinda's yelling, we're taking on water. We're taking on water. <laughs> oh my God. Ramona and Sonia are clutching each other for dear life in tears. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Bethany's like, where are the life vests? Uh, Dorinda, now we heard Dorinda going, it smells like smoke. Oh my God. People are falling to the floor. Oh, it's a commercial break. This is intense, you guys. I'm laughing and having fun with it. And of course, I know that everybody ends up okay. But it's a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. Oh. oh. Okay, we just got back from commercial and the words across the screen say, due to the rough waters, all production crew had to stop filming for the safety of everyone on board. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, now it says 17 hours later. Everybody's packing their suitcases and getting ready to go. Oh God. This was fun. We see the confession cams back and forth of Bethany, Luann, and Ramona telling the tale of what happened, Carol too. It looked like it was intense. That burning smell was the fact that the anchor had deployed. And so the motor, the, the, they were going like they were trying to go forward, but the boat wasn't going forward because the anchor went down. So the guy had to get up there with a sword and whack at the rope and release the anchor. Production had to shut down. But I am wondering where the life vests were because that seems like a lawsuit. So they're all at breakfast now and they're talking about the boat trip, of course. It does appear that the women needed to release some stress by shaking their booties all night long. There was some 
really fast dancing going on the night before, except for Dorinda, who right after the boat went to bed. So they were kind of filling her in on the night they had. Well, this is great breakfast conversation. Everyone but Tinsley and Bethany have diarrhea. Ramona stole the toilet paper out of Bethany's room and Sonia went to steal it out of Ramona's room, but Ramona didn't have any and yeah, everybody has diarrhea. Maybe not the conversation I would have over a meal, but uh, yeah. Oh my God. Luann says, I left them the ultimate gift. Ramona goes, oh, what, you, what in the toilet? And she goes, well, no. And then you see the staff with their hands in a bucket and wringing a sponge and wiping the bed. That's disgusting. Oh, well, uh, blissfully the trip and this episode are over. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm thinking about trying something here. I get so many awesome comments from you guys that I thought I would try maybe answering a question or a comment in my next video. I will pick a random question or comment. I will answer it and give you guys a little shout out. If for any reason you don't want me to use your name, please let me know that in the comment. Otherwise, I will give you credit for the question and answer it at the end of the next video. As always, if you have not yet subscribed to Jill Informed, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to leave your questions and comments. I love to hear from you guys. And I hope to see you next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time for the next recap of The Real Housewives of New York City. Bye-bye.